as a painting instructor, one of many, <laughs> I've been fortunate to work with a lot of students over the years. And a typical student usually starts out by asking how to paint a particular subject. You know, some love trees, others want to paint a, maybe their favorite pet. Or the ambitious ones start out with portraits. <laughs> but I have to say, uh, the really smart ones are smart because it took me several years, the more I studied paintings, to realize that good color mixing is the common ingredient in a lot of the masterpieces that we admire so much. If you can't make what you're wanting to make or can't uh, reproduce what you see in nature, uh, you know, brush strokes and what painting technique you use really doesn't matter all that much. This is especially true for representational art, whether the artist paints incredibly careful or like a man possessed. If the colors are similar and true to life, the paintings come out fantastic. However, even recognizing what color something is exactly can really fool you sometimes. Skin tones is a great example, and you have to try and reproduce that with the paints that you happen to buy. The next big challenge. Well, this is exactly why we designed the three show color mixing series. And we start right from the beginning and explain how and why colors change when you mix paints together and how mixing different colors of light differs from this. This is very important because you'll be painting situations where there's multiple light sources. Today we start by visiting our friend Adam Rengstor. He's someone who knows a lot about why different materials look the colors that they do. And all artists should have a good understanding why our paint pigments change color after they're mixed together. And in order to do that, it all starts with the colors in light. Uh, what we're doing is showing how white light is actually... Now, art teachers aren't expected to know too much about something like physics, and they just rehash the same old information that they were taught. But this might be the problem, since mixing colors is more about science than it is art. Now, some may have you memorizing mixing charts for a long time, but still leaves you in the dark about the entire process. You may have been done with paints that are different than your own, in fact. Or you could be looking at some chart that was printed with ink out of a book. Not exactly the same process. Okay, you can see we got some new colors out, some new victims. We'll see what we can do with these guys. Uh, we have kind of a blue and a red here. Let's start with that. Uh, here's the blue like we kind of see on the color wheel. And I picked a red that's pretty doggone close to that as well. And you put those together and we'll get a nice violet out of those because red and blue have violets. So I already Grab a little of the blue, so put some red in here. Let's see if we get that violet showing up a little bit. Oh, wait a second, what's happening here? Not so pretty. So what we're gonna do is I have a few cars out here and kind of let's just see what happens with them. I'm just gonna uh, try mixing a few of these together. Another green mm -hmm. and we made yellow, we made uh, red, and we made blue. And what we ended up doing is we made three primary colors uh, out of secondary colors. <laughs> I tricked you, see? You knew what I was doing. All right, you want to change them all in the right direction at the same time. So the goal is to take one or two steps and change all those ingredients at one time. And so just we like weed out what's right and wrong about this whole color mixing color. mystery, leaving you we with the simple recipe how to match a color quickly without guesswork, and without wasting a lot of time or a lot of paint. First, if you haven't bought paints before, uh, there is like a good palette to maybe buy that you get the most for your money. After all, we're here to paint something, right? Not mix colors all day. We even discuss why you may buy and work with a lot of colors, or maybe just a few. There's reasons you might do both, and it's up for the painter, you, to decide what's best. 
But I know what you're thinking. No need to worry. We don't just leave you with a bunch of information. <laughs> we actually apply this material, making a painting, start to finish. From initial idea, composition, critique and corrections, and final framing. And right now, this series even includes bonus videos on the pros and cons of different affordable studio lighting. In total, this package includes the start to finish demo of the painting Solitude, our videos The Origin of Color, Parts 1 and 2, the video and demo on the recipe for making colors, the demo testing color theory, the video on choosing colors that suit your needs, the video on proper use of the color wheel, the video on great affordable studio lighting setups, and other tips used by the pros along the way. This special two and a half hour 3 DVD package is limited. So order now and look for current specials on all our exclusive instruction for the self-taught complete painter. Your purchase helps fund our nonprofit, commercial free televised shows available for broadcast on your local PBS station. Ask for it by name and thank you.